My name is Eddie. His name is Kenny. Kenny. And Kenny's gonna help me out today to show you guys everything that you are gonna need when prepping, priming, and spraying your doors. So first off, we're gonna start with the basics. When we get our cabinets, they're gonna be very greasy, grimy, disgusting, and you're gonna need to clean them. There's a lot of different things that you can use. If you are priming with a shellac primer, you do not wanna use a TSP solution. It's just not compatible with each other, so don't do that. What we use is Spray 9. Hold it up. We use Spray 9 or Crud Cutter. Let me show them a little bit closer. We clean our cabinets with these. We often use a spray bottle. I'll show them that. We use a spray bottle. We spray them down. We already cleaned these cabinets. I spray. And we'll show you the video of that. Nope. We spray them down. We wipe them down with rag, um, and then we rinse them with water. Once that's done, what you need to do is you really need to neutralize your cabinets. Yes. This is how you spray it right here, then you hold it, then you spray it like that. He's right, you know. So, this is the Nature Alcohol. Um, this is what we use to neutralize our cabinets. Um, this is one of the most important tools, honestly. You need these. Um, we're also gonna talk about um, filling holes and what we use to fill holes. But for now, once your cabinets are cleaned, um, rinsed, and neutralized, we're gonna start our sanding process. When we sand, we use our surf prep sander hooked up to our Festool. This one is for the details. What's fantastic about this, and I'll show you. And that one's mine right here. Yeah, Kenny uses that one. And this is Daddy's right there. Yep, I'll show you that one in a minute. So, when sanding details, these ones are really the best um, because they contour to the details. They really dig into them. We use the medium that abrasive. Right here. Yep. <clears throat> and then when we're doing our flats, we use our five inch orbital. Yep, it's called sanding. We use our five inch orbital with uh, 220 sandpaper. Once they're sanded, um, we do wipe them down with the denatured alcohol again after we dust them off and all that kind of stuff. And then we start uh, filling our holes. Um, when it comes to filling holes, what we like to use is golf tees and our hammer. And our hammer. And we bang them in. I'll show you guys a video of that as well. We bang them all into the into the holes, and then we snip them with our snips. Then we sand them down. Once they're all sanded, and you got your golf tees in there, and they're sanded smooth, 
Then we start filling. What, what we use to fill is this product right here. It's called icing. You will need, show them those. You're gonna need two blades. One of them is gonna hold your product. Because this one's mine, that one's dead. Yep. And hey. the other one you're gonna apply it with. Um, we use the blue hardener. Um, it comes with these. I think it's a little bit better than regular Bondo. It sands a little bit better. It shrinks a little bit less. This is what we found that we really, really love. It's a USC product and it's called, and it's called icing. Then we give them a quick sand and we top coat and make all our little repairs and little dings and dents with this product. Um, once we got our base though, our base coat of the Bondo and we sand it, then we prime our door. We do a very thin coat of primer to start off with, just to promote adhesion. Yeah, wipe it on your apron. There you go. Just to promote our adhesion, and then we come back and we do all of our prepping. We, we, we fill all our holes again, we fix all our little dings and dents, um, and then we just give it another light sanding, and then we do our second coat of primer. Once that's done, we come back, we sand everything smooth, we compress air everything off, and then um, and then we start applying our finish. All right, guys, that's it. I hope this video was at least a little bit helpful for you. Um, Kenny's gone. He has an attention span of a four-year-old. But if you want to see more Kenny, you can definitely follow our YouTube channel. Um, if we're in the shop, Kenny's here with us. <laughs> Kenny just wants to hang out with us. We love having him. Um, and I love teaching him this stuff. And I love teaching you guys this stuff. Also, if you want to dive a little bit deeper into these processes, I know we covered ground really, really quickly. 8 o'clock Sunday night, I'm going live on the Kitchen Cabinet Painting Experts page. Um, so if you have a question, jot it down and um, come join me at 8 o'clock on Sunday. So good luck with your Kitchen Cabinet Painting um, <coughs> journey. I'd love to be here to help you. And uh, I'm sure all the moderators feel the same way. There's a lot of people in this group, not only moderators, but members as well that know a lot. So. Um, definitely utilize this platform and make your cabinets look beautiful. All right, guys, stay safe out there.